Hello YouTube, this is a custom review and I'm going to try my best to explain how I made this figure for you guys so that way you will be able to also make your own figure eye standard Ultra Instinct model kit. Um, unlike the first video that I posted on the SH Figure Arts, no heat gun is required because you will melt the plastic. So what we're going to do is take this figure off of the stand take a good look at the accessories that I've that I've done and then take a good look at this figure so to make this figure you do need your very own figure eye standard model kit of Son Goku you can find him online for about $23 on Amazon and then for the hair part I sculpted with two parts epoxy so I got this at Michaels for about 12 bucks you can get these it's an epoxy putty you can get these on Amazon. I saw the cheapest was for like $8. But what you do is you, you have to take a little bit of both. So whatever you take from here, you take the same amount from here. And then you just mix the two until the two turn into gray. So once it's gray, it's well mixed because one part is a hardener. And what I did was I just picked selective strands. So all I did for Ultra Instinct was I only picked three parts. The first part was here. I put some epoxy here. And the thing is, because this plastic is very sleek, you're gonna have to sand the tips a little bit. Uh, by sanding the tips, it gives it a rough edge so the epoxy is able to grab. And once I picked this uh, strand, I molded it into this tip going upwards. This one I picked as well. I molded it to mo go up upwards. And then this strand upwards. I mean, it's personal preference, so you can pick whatever spike you want to mold upwards. But the easiest route is to pick a spike because it's already there and try to mold it with the epoxy upwards. But trying to make your own spike, I'm not very good, so I did not try to attempt to make extra spikes. So once that's done, you, you leave it for about, I left it all day, 24 hours to harden. And once it hardened, I uh, sanded it down to where it looks almost perfect. And then as the first tutorial as well, with the eyes, the eyes, everybody knows that the model kits, they come in layers. I put the eyes together, but I also grabbed a sheet of this paper. Now this is a sticker paper, as you can see. And what I did was I pinpointed I just eyeballed it. I drew how big to draw the eye. And then I cut the sticker out and I placed the sticker on top of both parts of the eye. And then I plugged it back in so that way his eye was completely white. And then I carefully went with the Sharpie pen and the ballpoint pen like this. And I carefully drew my outline on his eye. Then afterwards with a toothpick, I dabbed in silver within the outline that I drew. And then when it dried, I went back and just dabbed the pupil in the middle of the eye. And then went with a toothpick and dabbed a little bit of white at the edge to give it that nice shine. So for the body, I also used the two parts epoxy. These guys again and I rolled it into a gray ball. This one's already rock hard, but I carefully molded it on top of the two parts of the model kit. So basically I had to retake him apart and I carefully molded it on top. And after I was done, I let it dry. Also with the belt, I used the two parts epoxy and molded the torn shirt on top of the belt. So this part when it dried, I didn't apply any primer. I just went and hand brushed orange. You can use any acrylic orange. This is the one that I used. I used a tiny paintbrush and I just painted it on. And then this part I took outside and I primered it first. Then I spray painted it blue. And then I did a black wash. And black wash, what you can do is grab acrylic paint like this. And I don't have the black on me right now, but all you do is you squeeze some paint, like a good portion of paint inside the cup, and just put a little bit of water and you mix it. And once you mix it, you get into this water-based consistency 
of black and you go with the paintbrush and you just wipe it across let it sit for about 10 seconds then you go with the napkin and with the napkin you just carefully wipe off until you have that nice black wash all throughout the model kit and it also brings out the detail onto this figure as well as you can see here with this figure unlike any other figure eye standard you still come with the same accessories as you can see two fists kamehameha hands one judo chop waving hand instant transmission i did the same thing as well Apl applied black wash applying black wash to the faces i was very careful i went with a fine tip brush and i carefully just put a little bit on top of the head so that way i would want to get on the eyes because the eyes is a uh, paper plastic so i did paper sticker so i didn't want the black wash to get on the eyes so i carefully dabbed on the top of the forehead let it rest for about 10 seconds and then i wiped i carefully wiped it off as well as the lower part of the face and as you can see with this face as well carefully applied the black wash to give it more depth and more of a da battle damage look and as you can see this is usually tan but i've spray painted it completely black switch off the faces still like your normal figure eyes standard looks very awesome with that said guys tell me what, what you guys think about this figure tell me if you guys are going to make your own ultra instinct figure eyes standard as well I hope that I covered all the points and I hope you guys have success as much as I did. I'm not that great at customizing figures, I'll tell you that. But I really love this customization that I have done. If you guys have any other questions, please comment below the box and I'll be quick to answer to you guys. Um, selling this figure. A lot of people was asking about the SH Figure Arts if I was going to sell him. That one, no. But the figure is standard, I might start uh i might start customizing and selling them let me know what is a perfect price point for this figure to buy if you are interested in buying um with that said check out our website it is frankenculture.com you can also find me on twitter 63 kenny boy and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to my channel for i'm always posting up new toy reviews and if you have reached the end of this video then you guys are the only ones that are going to be informed that we will be doing some kind of giveaway coming in January and it has to do with Dragon Ball Fighters the video game so stay tuned for that because that is going to be a great giveaway so if you reach the end of this video you know now you know and I'll keep you guys updated have a good day thanks for watching